something called La Nina lead to an active hurricane season this year. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration says La Nina conditions are expected to persist through this hurricane season. And while we're talking about the Atlantic hurricane season, it's conditions out in the Pacific that can affect the severity. A cycle of climate patterns off the coast of Peru shift back and forth every two to seven years, alternating between El Nino and La Nina. During El Nino, ocean temperatures in the Pacific are warmer than normal. During La Nina, water temperatures are cooler than normal. During El Nino, higher wind shear is more likely over the Caribbean, which can be disruptive to hurricane development. During La Nina, the opposite happens, meaning the environment can be more favorable for storms to grow. And La Nina does more than just help hurricanes. It's a factor in creating more severe weather and tornadoes in the southeastern U.S. It's also blamed for less snow and rain in the west and south. Not good news for an area already dealing with drought. With The Y, I'm Brandi Smith.